Hey everybody, this is Jenna from Musings from the Middle School. Um, I am about to give you a tour of my classroom. This is the first time I am shooting a video like this with this camera where I'm gonna be moving around. So I really hope I don't make you seasick because I'm not used to doing it, but this takes much better videos than my phone does. Um, so yeah, I wanted to give you a classroom tour, but I didn't wanna do it the first week of school when my room looked you know, so totally Pinterest perfect. I wanted the room to be lived in for a while, so now you're gonna see it in all its glory and mess because um, the kids left about an hour ago and um, you're gonna see what it really looks like. So I'm starting you out here in the hallway and I'm gonna turn around because I wanna show you the door. So this is the entrance to my room. This is my band books display that I've got up there that comes from Tracy Orman. I love this right here. You know, you can come over and take a look and then see what's there. So we've got this. I always tell the kids if a book has been banned, that is a, you know, red flag that lets you know you should be reading it because it's a good one. If somebody took the time to ban it, it means there's good stuff in there that you should know. Um, this is my door. This comes from Reading Like a Rockstar. I love this door. When I posted this on Facebook, when I first put it up, somebody said to me, isn't that political? Ugh. And I didn't really know what to say to that because these are my kids and they're represented by these posters on this door. So they're my kids, they're not political, they're children. So you come into my room and there's a lot happening right away. I've got my Chromebook cart there. This is my while you were out bulletin board. This is the most important board that I have in my room. Um, all the extras of everything we do this day or do each day are put in here. So if a kid is out, they just have to come over to the folder if they were out on you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and get what they missed. This is my agenda board here where I just put our daily agenda each day. Down here you can see my Seven Habits posters. They came from Amy Grossbeck, I love them. And then this is my standing desk. This is one of the best things in my room. I got this desk from Ikea last year and I absolutely loved it. It's a, I don't know. I don't know how I lived without one before. Definitely worth what I spent on it. It was like 200 bucks. Anyway, I have a lamp here. I like lamp light in my room. This is my homemade tissue box. It's really a roll of toilet paper. I saw that on Pinterest. Genius. Genius. Um, I do a lot from up here. Yeah. We use this all the time. I stand up here a lot. The kids stand up here a lot when they have to present. So this was definitely a good find. Up here you'll see my academic vocabulary posters and there's the screen that's down so you can't really see that. But there they go. They go all the way across the room. Uh, if you walk across my room over here, these are our readers workshop books. Kids have readers workshop on different days. So if they are not going to take their book home to read, they can just toss those in the basket. This is my teacher desk over here and it's a total mess. But that's what it looks like real life. Real life. Um, those are the greatest pencil sharpeners ever made. They come from classroom friendly supplies I think oh gosh I don't know I'll have to put a link to that because those pencil sharpeners are the greatest in the world the kids line up even the kids that I don't have at homeroom line up early every morning so they can come in here and sharpen their pencils because it sharpens so great oh, this is my calendar over here here's my Miss Smith is reading which you know you can see gets kind of covered up by the stuff on my desk I mean this is like hashtag real life I set these things up and they look beautiful in the beginning but then as stuff starts to pile up things sort of disappear. So that's why I wanted to wait and show you, you know, what the room really looked like after it had been lived in. This is my important information. This is just stuff that I need to know, all of our different schedules and whatnot. Um, these are teaching materials that I use all back here. I've got my computer here. Yeah, so this is just really my messy space. If you come over here, here's the library. Let me step back so you can really, you know, see the library in all its glory. This is, you know, the heart of our classroom. It is where all the magic happens. Um, you can see that I organize my books by genre. These baskets are from really good stuff. 
I don't love them. They seem sort of flimsy to me, but um, you know, they're cute. And I like the labels, which I made. You can sort of see those here. Um, yeah, but I don't know. They seem, they're always, they just are a little bit flimsy. I'm always afraid they're gonna break. They haven't yet, but I've only had them for two years. But they just seem a little weak to me. Um, there is a bin of picture books. These are the books that we have on display. I had posted about this the other day. These little bubbles here are the greatest, the greatest things I've ever done. You have no idea. I have to change out like four or five of these books every day because as soon as I put a new one up with a new little talk bubble, kids grab them off the shelves, which are great. That's what I want them to do. But um, yeah, these are just laminated call outs that I stuck on a piece of cardstock. Dry erase, so I can just erase them, you know, when I'm done. We keep extras over here. There's like a little envelope and I keep the dry erase markers up there. So, you know, kids can just grab one if they want to make a recommendation. Oh, you see all my lamps, my flags. This is it. There's the, there's the library. Um, so if we move around the room, here's my setup here. I have a bunch of traditional desks and then I have tables as well. And you'll notice I have different stools and chairs at the tables. Um, that's been great. Those wobbly, those wobbly stools are awesome. I have a student teacher this year and this is her space back here. She's got this little desk, which has worked out to be awesome for her. I've got some decor here. This is my write like this bulletin board. Once we get really started with the writer's workshop, um, as we look at mentor pieces for each of our units, uh, this is the bulletin board where those mentor pieces will go. The kids will also have a copy of them in their notebook most of the time, but um, I like to put them back there too so I can remember what it is they've read. So those are my growth mindset posters. I've got the lamps on each table this year. I absolutely love this. We have the lights off and the shades up most of the time. So it creates like a really nice ambiance in here. This is my article of the week bulletin board. If you know anything about me, if you've read my blog before, you know that I am obsessed with the article of the week. It's one of the best things that I do in my classroom. Um, and this bulletin board we refer back to time and time again because it really sort of helps us keep track of how we're doing our article of the week. And then over here, oh, this is my favorite new addition to the room this year. I just did this this year. Let me, let me sort of back up so you can see this. Let me turn it like this. Oh, I hope I didn't just make you see sick. Um, my plan is for each month to sort of create a display like this to showcase, you know, a to showcase a group of books for the month. So all these books this month have to do with middle school. And these are obviously, these are not all the books that I have in my library about middle school, but I just pulled some popular titles out and as kids take them, I replace, like I replace them with other titles from the library. Um, but these are the books that I'm really been book talking a lot and um, we're referencing, I'm coming over here and talking to kids about the books from here the most. So you can see some of the titles that I have. And this is our display. And look at how I put that light up. I just stuck that up with uh, those Velcro strip things and they've stuck beautifully. I love that. Those posters up there are modeled after the Jen Jones one. Two of them come from Jen Jones's site. You can see this one does. Every day is library day. And Sugar. One of the other ones are too. It could be that it's this one. I forget which one came from there. Um, but then I just sort of created some of my own in the same, I don't know, theme so that they look the same and just sort of stuck those up. So this is our display that's getting ready to get changed out to reflect the horror genre. So I will show you what that looks like. Um, in a couple days when I put the new display up and then you'll also be able to get that in my store. You can buy this middle school display here that you see. You can buy that in my store and what you actually get is you get a PDF that prints out the pieces. Let me like move closer here. So see you can see that this is really several pieces of paper that I taped together and then laminated and then I stuck it with Velcro 
to this display board. So then I'll create the same thing for the October one and I'll just you know, pull this off the Velcro and put up the new pieces so I don't really have to move that display. I did take this and this is stuck to the wall here, this, this display, so this doesn't come off. But I can just change that out whenever I want to and then change out the books. Um, this is where we keep our ELA notebooks and supplies. You can see here, I teach four periods of ELA and each period has its own color duct tape. So when kids, you know, so if it's the period six kids, they just have to come in and grab the purple. If it's the period two kids, they come in and grab the blue. So they know, you know, all the kids have a number in here. Their number corresponds to these bins. It also corresponds to the Chromebook that they get to use. And so it's just a lot easier for them to come in and look for their color in their bin than to try to like pick up all four and go through them and see whose is whose. So that's where we keep our notebooks. Here's where I keep anchor activities. Oh my gosh, every classroom has to have anchor activities. This is one of the things I tell new teachers all the time. Um, there should never, ever, ever be a time in your room when kids have nothing to do. And so anchor activities, these are ones that I just have printed up and I sell these in my store. These are just like writing prompts that the kids can do. All right, so I just stick a couple of these on these rings and the rings hang from up here and if a kid is like I'm done what can I do next I say go grab one of those anchor activity um, packs and write about one there we go so yeah these are just on my cabinets I do have really nice storage in here that's one of the nicest parts about our building so you can see I've got lots of great storage so this is really just all the books that I use for lit circles um, you know wherever I have multiple copies of books and then over here, this is my objectives wall. This is another super important thing that I put in my classroom a couple of years ago. Um, one of the requirements in my district is that we have to have our objectives put up and posted every day. And I will absolutely not ever remember to do that every day. But I can remember to do it like once a week. And so what I try to do is on Friday before I leave, I just stop and I put all of them up. So then, you know, I know that they're there. So that's what that looks like. Here's what we've been doing this week, if you're interested. We've been working on nonfiction. We're just sort of doing a, you know, quick little mini unit going through all the elements of nonfiction that the kids need to know because next week we'll get started on our article of the week routine. So there we go. This is one of those. I don't know, I got totally sucked into buying this from Michaels because everybody was buying them on Instagram. It's really cute, these like, there we go, it's in focus now. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them yet. It was just a really great deal when you use a coupon. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this because it was on sale and then I used a coupon. So it's pretty nice, but I don't have anything to put in it yet. And you can see stuff just gets sort of tossed, like our fan is there. And I have an extra chair. I had some extra chairs in my room and I refused to get rid of them because uh, you never know when you need a chair. So here's how my room looks from the front. Bam, that's it. All right, so hold on, let me flip this up. So there you go. That's my room. Hold on. Be in focus. Get in focus. Please. There you go. Hi. Uh, that's my room. I really love it this year. I think it turned out so cute. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about it, but this is it. So if you have any questions about anything, let me know. And um, yeah, other than that, have a great day. We have back to school night tonight, so I'm going to go. I don't know get some Doritos out of the vending machine and have dinner. But uh, I'll have parents in here in a few. So hope all is well and uh, hope you like the tour. Thanks so much, bye.